hi guys um so i'm going to do something slightly a bit different this time instead of doing just one i'm going to try and see if i can do um a couple i have just received some more um, colors um of center of attention the makeup artistry um so I'm going to try and see if I can actually, if I can do this, see if it actually works, because it is, it's supposed to be the worst makeup ever. The reason why I put it down as the worst makeup ever is because that's how it turned out, so I might as well do it as that. <coughs> so on this one, I'm going to crumb my entire Plus it hasn't covered. Now you'll notice the background is green. Oh, you probably will say to me, I already know that I can see that. So, if this works, then obviously that is going to be pretty good. If this doesn't work, well, it's the whole point of the video. So, See if I can get this to work. So what I am doing here is putting on this really dark green which in some places it actually does um, 
work to the background but then they ended up finding out that really it wasn't doing the whole entire job so I had a lighter green and once that dark green actually dried up then I had to put on the lighter one on top because the whole idea of it is so that it merges in with the background and sort of all you can see then is my red hands on top of my face um it worked actually it worked more or less right um probably i wouldn't say it was a hundred percent but you know it's taken a long time to work out the green screen it's taken a long time to work out quite a few things and you know so otherwise I think myself personally it came out pretty well. So as you can um, see now, I am facing now the green screen and I am just going over the bits that basically are not blending in with the, uh, the green screen background and uh, I'm just going over that as much as I possibly can so all then you get to see is the hands on my face and that's... Uh, that's what I want you to do, you know, is just concentrate on the hands on the face. So here I am now just working out more or less where to put the um the lighter green. Um as you can see with my hand prints have obviously already um gone and you can see the really seriously nice background. Um I couldn't completely not to get away um everything, hide away everything. But, uh, you know, like the cupboards and the door and stuff, I can, I'm limited down to room. So, I've, um, I've sort of worked out now what paint to actually put on. And that, and uh, it was, uh, I don't think I did too bad of a job, actually. I did, uh, I think, considering where I started off with, and the, with everything that I have seen and learnt and known, out. I don't think I did um, really too bad on this one. I um, think I did pretty well and I was actually pretty much looking forward to this one and I quite enjoyed doing this one and I thought it was actually, I thought it was really good. So if you are interested in this um, amazing face paint and that it is absolutely fantastic. It comes with two different sizes of brushes. It's $80 <coughs> depending on which country you are in. You also get a discount um, with it as well. I think it's something like 20% off but it's absolutely incredible and amazing. And if you are after buying each separate colours they are also $9.00. Um, and that but uh, I got them a little bit uh, cheaper but I think they're fantastic the part that you see me now holding in my hand is the actual 
colour palette and it easily comes off and it it is so easy to go on so smooth so wonderful it is it's really nice and cold when it first goes on it and it's just so easy to do and you can see now the lovely background coming through on my face now just wait until you see the end results if you don't watch until the end that's absolutely fine if you don't like watching these and why you're still here um otherwise yeah this is absolutely i'm actually really impressed with this one um this is uh this is really really good and i'm liking the fact that how the background is coming through on my face as well as me having my hands on my face So here we are coming towards the um, end result and I really hope that you are as impressed as I am because if you've never seen this before then obviously you'll be as impressed as I am because this for me is a first timer and this now is, it's just, it's absolutely incredible I think, you know, being able to see the background like that, I mean how the heck do you describe it? How the heck do you do something like that? So this is now where I'm going to figure out now, is it done it? Has it worked? Have I completed it? And now all I have to do now is cover the missing patches. I started finding that in my hair and I'm starting to do the, uh, the odd patches now. Now is that incredible? So now I'm just doing around the hairline. Yes, I had to put my camera down for a split second while I was uh, doing that, but this, yep, I absolutely love this one. Now I'm just trying to finish off. I was just trying to finish off the last bits. It is starting to dry up quite quickly. But now I hope. After seeing this, for the results that you are as impressed as me, I need not a few things, but it isn't a hundred percent complete. And yes, I'm doing the <laughs> a few bits. Yep, again the ears there. Trying to get the, yep, the lips, trying to cover the lips up a little bit more on the inside. But really, considering, I think that is absolutely, I absolutely love this one. I thought this was really, really, really good with this one. Fully, fully enjoyed it. It's almost like you've got your handprint. Um, basically, well, look, the mountains. It's almost like you've coloured the mountains with your hand. Yep, I love this one. Thank you very much for coming and watching. And there is another video after this one, and it is a Halloween one. And this one. So, 
Hello guys, this is my next video. Um, no, I am not showing anything. This is to my some adults and their children. And no, I'm not going to show you anything at all. I am basically showing you what I have made. This basically, I don't know if you can tell what it is. It's actually supposed to be my skin. Basically, basically the zombie is supposed to have gotten hold of my skin and pulled it to one side. And um, basically, I, it's gotten inside and it's ripped out, you know, and eaten the insides of my, my body and that. And in the middle of it, that's actually supposed to be is, um, my ribs. And underneath my ribs, obviously, it's your spine. Now, my spine actually I have made, and it actually is underneath. Um, and that, which is probably, you can't really obviously see that. So, as you can see, I now do my best to um, merge it not just into my skin but to try and make it look as gory and as real as um as possible here trying to turn the colour of it because obviously you know we're talking about a zombie who's literally you know ripped me completely apart um and that and uh yeah that's obviously you know the the top part and the bottom part and the side parts are all my skin pulled literally apart it's the reason why i keep pulling it up so you can see that that's actually my skin being ripped apart um so that's the green that obviously i'm uh, i'm putting on i do put on some yellow and then i put on some blue just to give it more of that effect So what I'm doing now is I'm actually putting on a, some blue just to give it that different type of um, colour because there's all different types of films out there, there's all different types of colours out there and our blood is different types of colour, especially when you become a zombie. And I'm trying to like get between my ribs um, and that and show that underneath, you know, it's all being ripped apart and, and stuff like that. I know you're not going to see anything at all, you're not going to see... I'm not taking my bra off or anything like that. I'm not taking anything off like that. I just didn't want any of my tops getting um, any ruined, unfortunately, which the end up did getting ruined. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention as well, on top of my face, I actually tr tried covering my natural eyebrows and just putting some thin um, eyebrows down and putting some normal makeup on and that just so it looks like I've like say been out for a night out um, and that you know a little bit of foundation, a little bit of um, eyeshadow and that and trying to make it look like I've been for a night out like Friday or Saturday night out. Um, I've still got to put on some eyelashes um, yet, yeah, but obviously as you can see, I'm just trying to make this as gory and horrifying as, as physically possible. Um, and that, I mean, to me, th I mean, this, this that you can see me patting down now, basically it literally, it took days to make. So yeah, I'm just now patting it around um, other places. I left the makeup, makeup on from the last one um, and that because it seemed to have worked in quite well with this um, makeup. What I'm doing now is I'm making it more look more like you know it's what my skin used to look like and you know 
patting it around, trying to give it more that realistic and sort of scary sort of look um, and that and uh, <laughs> yeah just rubbing it in certain places, it took a while to take off um, and that but otherwise yeah I actually fully enjoyed this one and it took like I said <laughs> Blimey, I don't know how many days, but it took a while for, for me to actually make that rip open chest part. So what I'm going to do now is I've just found my other pieces from the last um, makeup that uh, that I did and what I'm doing now is I'm patching them actually onto my body just to make it look like not just my chest has been ripped open and that but um, that basically when I've been attacked it's obviously it's got hold of its hands and put it onto my shoulder and it's kind of scratched it you know on my shoulders and that and uh, you know as they do because they don't just do one place you know they will they tend to go all over don't they zombies and that you know or shall we say the walking dead they tend to scratch in different places so obviously you know i just i thought i would uh, put them on and make it even more uh, lifelike and more scary. So the line of my neck was a little bit more harder work and it wasn't staying so I had to blow it um, on the way. So now I'm doing it because it's going to be um, fake realistic, more of a realistic um, blood like onto um, the chest now to, so you can actually get more of a realistic idea of you know what is going on. So it's not just all greenified or anything like that. You know, as you can see, I am struggling with the one on my neck. It did actually fall. But, um, yeah, I'm now putting the more realistic look of blood on my, um, on the chest part now. Where I've basically been ripped apart and, and that. And it's, uh, basically, you know, where he's, he or she is ripped into me with their hands and their teeth and they got all this green stuff all over them so so yeah this blood now is going all over it and the blood basically it has slightly turned you know like into the to the green part but this is more realistic part now and the reason why i'm putting it in between um each one is because obviously you know you're not supposed to really see the ribs you're not supposed to see, you know, your rib cage or anything like that. You're not supposed to see all that. But uh, this is what I ended up doing, just so I could give that more of a realistic look of basically looking like I really have been torn apart. Right, so the um, the blood now that I'm actually putting on now is actually the darker, um, is actually the darker one. Basically, when you cut your side, you've got your lighter blood and then you've got your really, really dark, deep blood underneath. Because basically, you're not supposed to go that far into your skin. But when you, if you cut or graze, you have the lighter blood and then you have the really, really dark 
um, blood. Well, this is now the the darker one. Basically, the darker one literally before my blood stops. And that's why I've put it all over places that I've been um, bitten, ripped apart, and scratched. Um, basically, and obviously my skin's all lumpy and bumpy, and you know it's just all different things. You can see your skin actually. Imagine what your skin would do. So can you see now where I'm putting this really, really darker blood now? This is basically the last part now as where I've, because obviously you're not supposed to see all this. This basically to me is basically it got more realer and obviously because it was me doing it, it got more scarier because it felt like it was really... It really like sort of happens, but if you keep watching till um the end, you will you will see how I try to and um, do a drama version of being a zombie or walking dead person. I'm just right now trying to show you the realistic versions of how my skin would look like if it'd been basically torn and um ripped apart so I'm hoping now that this is starting to look um, a little bit more um, basically ripped into um, obviously I'm on the floor and they've taken out all my things that they need to take out and and basically literally ripped the hell out of me and that so I found out doing the brush wasn't enough 